welcome to another video in our series on human anatomy and physiology. This series will focus on the male reproductive system. Just like all of our other videos, half of our anatomy videos will be released free on YouTube, while the other half, as well as over 200 videos, will be available exclusively at MrFordsClass.net. Membership there is what allows us to do this, so be sure to check that website out, especially if we're helping you in your class. So let's get going now with the male reproductive system. The functions of the reproductive system is the continuation of the species. If you joined us from lesson one when we talked about the different body systems, then you'll hopefully remember that when we talked about the reproductive system, it was there to allow the continuation of the species. It was to allow us to make offspring, to continue on the human race. So the functions of both the male and female reproductive system is the continuation of the species. The reproductive system is composed of primary sex organs and secondary sex organs. Each parent, now we're going to use the term parent to define the egg donors. This is the term that we're using in the life sciences. So parent refers to the egg donor, the person who has the egg. So each parent, both the male and the female, produce eggs. These eggs are known as gametes. In males, the gamete is known as sperm. In females, the gamete is known as eggs. The gametes will combine to form the zygote. So it's the zygote that is the new organism, the new life form that has been unseen on the planet before. And the male's function in the reproductive system is the production of sperm, as well as the introduction of that sperm into the female's body. The female's reproductive system's job is to produce the eggs, to receive the sperm, to provide the union of the gamete, so it provides the area where the the egg and the sperm can come together. It will harbor the fetus. It will be a safe place for the fetus to, to grow and develop. And the female is responsible for giving birth. We can classify the reproductive organs as either primary or secondary. Primary structures are the structures that make the sex cells and the secondary organs are the organs that will help allow them to come together. We also have internal and external organs. The internal organs are the organs inside the body, while the external organs are the organs found on the outside of the body. Examples of primary sex organs are the gonads. These are the things that are going to produce the gametes, that are going to produce the cells that will come together to create a new life form, to create a new organism. In male, again, we have the testes that are going to produce the sperm. In the females, we're going to have the ovaries, which are going to produce the eggs. The secondary sex organs are the structures that help the sex cells come together. So the secondary sex organs are the parts of the body that help the gametes fuse together. In the males, we have the duct system, the glands, and the penis, while in the females, we have the uterine, the uterus, and the vagina. Let's take a look at the male sex organs that you're going to need to know for this series of videos. And we're going to go over all of these in more detail. So we're going to cover the scrotum, the testes, the epididymis, the vas deferens, accessory glands, the seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, the bulbourethra gland, as well as the penis. In the next video, we're going to start taking a look at these organs in more detail, beginning with the testis and the spermatic ducts.